to talk about one year of conservative approach to dental crown fracturing dogs and cats. My name is Raluca Ioana Nedela and I'm a human dentist that uh, we set it up an interdisciplinary team with my colleagues veterinarians in order to provide best dental medical care for our four leg patients. Oral doesn't work. Ah. Oral pathology occupies first place in small animal morbidity, but it is the most underdiagnosed and undertreated medical issue. By the age of two, 70% of the cats will acquire periodontal problems. A higher percent of the dogs will acquire, by the age of three, 80% dental and periodontal problems. Dental crown fracture occurs as a consequence of a mechanical trauma when a determined force is applied on dental structures in variable angle. In order to establish which types of the teeth are most fractured, we have to corroborate the dental arch geometry with the everyday activity of our patient. So the cats mostly will acquire canine fracture in um, feline jumpings or in cat fights, but dogs, as they are more dynamic and do interact more with the environment and have larger breeds, will have canine fracture, maxillary force uh, premolars or incisors fractures. The most widespread procedure when we talk about dental crown fracture is extraction. But nowadays it's increasing the conservative approach with endodontic treatment and coronal restoration. Extraction, besides having its potential complication during and after the surgical time, in time will acquire a lot of inconveniences like extensive bone loss and uh, with direct impact of food on the place where the tooth was extracted. The teeth that limit the extraction place will uh, have uh, lost supportive periodontium and bones that will lead to periodontal mobility and periodontal pockets. And in the end, the teeth will bend leading to unphysiological contacts with echoes in temporomandibular joint, affecting the process of mastication and digestion. So we have to understand that every dental unit loss represents a great loss for the oral cavity, for the temporomandibular joint, and for the whole body. Our study population were 74 fractured dental units that were presented to us from the 1st of January 2018 until 31 of December 2018, Transylvania region, Romania, nine cats and 52 dogs. As I said, cats, all of them had the canines fractures. The repartition of the uh, these types, uh, we can see it on this nice pie graph. And we have to say that all of our patients were in complete state of health, confirmed by biochemical blood test and a thorough medical exam. All of them had an initial radiography confirming no periapical lesion and the working lens. How do we diagnose a dental crown fracture? First of all, we can see sharp enamel edges on the fractured tooth, and always we do it uh, in the inspection in comparison with the tooth from the contralateral part. And in the middle of these uh, sharp enamel edges, we can see a pink, reddish, gray, dark brown point uh, on the fractured surface. And if we do explore it with the dental probe, the dental probe will sink into the pulp chamber. We uh, perform a standard root canal treatment uh, with photo taken during the process. Of course, uh, besides general anesthesia, we perform local nerve blocks. In the second photo, we can see that after establishing radiographically our, our working lens, we have confirmed it with electronically with apex locators. We prepare the root canals with manual endodontic files and rotary files, and the root canal filling was made by collateral condensation with gutta perca and mineral trioxy aggregate. The last two pictures does not involve our study, but I wanted to present because it is an international conference where we present novelties. Starting from March 2019, we do the sterilization of the root canal with the help of a diode lasers with wavelengths of 940 nanometers in order to have a better prognosis for our endodontic treatment. Here we have plenty of radiographs in different angles, depending on the laboratory, but the main um, 
The point is that we had a proper root canal filling for each of our patients that we inclu included in the study. Coronary reconstruction is a very important step in order to have a good prognosis in time because Hargraves in 2016 tells us that microleakage is the main um, cause for the endodontic failure. So it is important after the endodontic treatment to have a good coronary reconstruction. Most of our reconstructions were made with light curing materials. The six in cats, 61 in dogs. As you can see, we have here a canine reconstructed with light curing material. And here, it's a maxillary fourth premolar reconstructed with light curing materials. If the amount of the dental structures lost is higher, we have to, uh, to ask uh, and we have to, to think about the prostodontical reconstruction and that is made with the help of a dental laboratory. Uh, the two main dental materials that we used were metal alloy and zirconia stabilized with yttrium. Zirconia stabilized with yttrium is the last, uh, is the newest material appear on dental market. That uh, mechanical and bio, uh, biological properties and aesthetically, of course, in order to provide resistance and stability in time, but it has higher cost of production. And um, I have to say that this, on the second photo, the cat is having the prosthodontical crown for about a year and a half and no loosening. Dogs receive two metal alloys and two zirconia stabilized with yttrium. The third one is a dog show that fractured one of his frontal teeth. And, and if you can guess, I, you can have a try. But I will tell you it's um, the upper lateral incisors from the light part as we look it, at it. As results and discussion, most of our fractured tooth were incisors, unlike Mr. Reiter that reported that maxillary force premolar is the most fractured tooth in dogs. But our study has its own limitation as it is done in an um, area where the interest for veterinary dentistry is increasing. So it has its limitation, but we had no periapical lesion at one year follow-up, no crown is loosening, only three missing coronal fillings that I will put it on post-treatment care because it is very hard to unlearn the owners, the bad habits, uh, not to play with hard toys and with ropes with their pet. A good diagnosis will lead to a proper treatment plan and with a good prognosis. In the end, I would have wanted to show you a very nice reconstruction of a skull based on a CBCT exam made for one of our patients, but it doesn't work the technical. Thank you for your kind attention. <laughs> Questions? Some of them, uh, so, uh, most of them were realizing by the owner okay. because they have subjective signs, refusing um, uh, food. Uh, refu uh, the, the cat, in fact, was refusing, uh, it was eating only dry food, not wet food, was re refusing because the wet food was cold okay. and she was feeling the different te temperatures. Do you have an impression of how percentage would be uh, in the future? Would would be would be higher. Yes, yes, it, it it is a high percentage of dental fracture in our. Um, they have signs, but we cannot uh, detect them. Uh, and we cannot detect them. Some of them have a lot of tartar, a lot of mineralization of the plaque of the dental plaque on the tooth because it's avoiding and uh, auto um, uh, cleaning, it's not working because when they eat, they, uh, they clean their teeth. But uh, if they have uh, pain, they don't eat on that part and they have higher percent of tartar or
Now welcome. Ah, one more question. <laughs> yes. Does your presentation really with the clinical application? I just uh, have a very small suggestion to make your life easier. Mm. I think it would be nice to use the triadal system ah. of numbers. Yes. Yeah. That but I know, but if I use the, uh, the triadan system, I cannot approach so many uh, colleagues because not, not all of them know that. Yeah, them to, to yeah. <laughs> of course, it's not a problem for me. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for your suggestion. Thank you. Thank you.